Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem from the 2012 IMO, problem number one. This is a nice, simple geometry problem, probably the simplest they get at the IMO that I suggest you try for a minimum of half an hour, ideally an hour and a half, but not more than three hours. If, on the other hand, you would like to go along with us, I suggest you take 15 minutes, draw the diagram, and put your first ideas out on paper. And without further ado, let's begin. So, with these types of problems, it is usually good to go one point at a time. So, the first thing I did, I drew the triangle ABC and the X circle opposite A with the center J, KLM, the points as they are defined in the problem. Now, the first sort of new point I'm getting is LM intersecting BJ. So let's draw that now. And that's point F. So now that we have this configuration, let's figure out what we can find from F. And on the other hand, we have also G and it's defined symmetrically. It's CJ intersection KM. So here's a little big picture overview of things. There is symmetry. We are LM intersection BJ is symmetrical to over A because everything else is symmetrical. B and C are symmetrical uh, with respect to the sort of vertex A, which is what the problem is about, it seems. And KM intersection CJ is the same. So we can also just look at what we know for F and then we'll find similar things for the point G. And furthermore, like the last point is our S and T, and S is the intersection of AF and BC. But before we go into that, let's see what we can find out about this point right here. I invite you to take 10 to 15 minutes and try to figure out what do you know about this point F. Try to figure out as many things that you might find useful as possible. So the first order of business really is, let's call this alpha, beta, and gamma. And now given this is the X circle, we know this, this thing right here, MC is equal to CL. So this angle right here is half of gamma. And so is this angle right here, half of gamma. Now, what do we also know? Do we know this angle? Yes, we do, because this is the center of the X circle. We know this is 90 minus beta half, and this is 90 minus beta half. And uh, just the reason we know this is because this is equal to this, this is equal to this, and because they have a shared side, these triangles are identical, so this angle, KBJ and MBJ are the same. Anyway, this is just bas the basics of X circle geometry. And now we know that this angle here is gamma half, so we have gamma half, 90 minus beta half, this is really alpha half plus gamma half. It's just the same thing. And now we know that this angle right here, so we're having, okay, so this is alpha half because we have alpha half plus gamma half plus gamma, beta. So we have alpha half, gamma, and beta. So we're missing an alpha to get 180, alpha half to get 180. So this means this is alpha half. And now we know something about F. Now, what does this tell us? What does it mean that this angle right here, JFL or BFM, that this angle is alpha half? I invite you to take about uh, 10 minutes to 15 minutes and figure out what this means. And what this means is because AJ is the angle bisector of BAC, and again, we know this because KA is equal to LA, KJ is JL, and AJ, they share a side, so this is both alpha half and alpha half. So now we know that F, A, L, J lie on a circle, but K also lies on this circle. So we furthermore also know this angle right here, KFJ is also alpha half. And now with that, knowing that F is on the circle, in a similar way, we know that the point G, which is the intersection of KM and CJ is also on the circle. And now with that, I invite you to take another 10 to 15 minutes and push the problem further. What would you do next? So here, what I would do, I would still not look at point G because I know what I get for F, I'll get for G. 
So now let's look at this intersection. AF intersects BC at a point called S. And now with this, okay, so we know these all are in a circle. So we know this angle right here is the angle on the chord FK. So FKL is the angle that we're interested in. And because this is gamma half, this here is alpha half. This is alpha half because this is the angle over the chord KJ, which means this is all 90, so this is beta half. So we have this is beta half. Oh, which means that this angle right here is beta half. Now, I invite you to take another, say, 10 to 15 minutes and figure out what would you do next. And here's the next idea, and more so the really, perhaps the final idea, is realizing. So S, how is S defined? So we have this X circle, then we have F, and then AF intersects BC, and that's how we define this. We can also look at it, it's the only point on the ray CB, such that S, such that B is between S and C, and that SAB is beta half. There's only one such point. This is about the uniqueness of S. So we can really just scrap this whole circumcircle story and just focus on the point S as defined without any of this jazz. But most importantly, we know that SB is equal to BA. It's also, that's also a unique point on this side of BC. And now, Let's see what we need to prove. We need to prove that M is the midpoint of ST. So you know when we define T now, we define, we do this, we have G, and then we have the same sort of thing. We have T here. We know we'll get gamma half and gamma half here. So then we'll have, and we need to prove that SM is equal to TM. But we know SM is equal to what? SM is equal to SB plus BM. And BM is equal to BK, SB is equal to BA. So we know that SM is going to be equal to AK. And now, as you can maybe see, that will be done pretty soon. And the reason why is because AK is equal to AL. Again, remember symmetry. If we found that SM, it's, symmetri it's somewhat symmetric with regards to A and B with regards to B and C, A being the central thing. And when I talk about this symmetry, I'm really not meaning about anything concrete, anything precise. I just mean they are defined in a similar way, in a symmetrical way. And here what we have, we have that SM is equal to AK, which, and because we know in a similar way, we'll get TM is equal to AL. And because AK and AL are equal, we'll be done. So now I invite you to actually think about 30 minutes and write up a solution. Here's how I would write up the solution. So the first thing I would do is I would make this claim and now I would prove it like, I would do it like this. Basically JFL is equal to BFM and then I would go, this is 180 minus FBM minus FMB is equal to, I treat this as one thing, the external angle of the angle MBJ. And now we have MBJ minus CML, FMB is CML. And now due to BJ being the angle bisector of this angle and CM equaling CL, this is equal to this, this is equal to this. And now this is equal to half of BAC, which is equal to JAL, which means K is an element of the circumcircle of AKJL. And we already know that AKJL are, is a circumcircle because the angle AKJ is equal to the angle ALJ is equal to 90 degrees. And now after this, I will go on to the second point, which is that AB is equal to BS and AC is equal to CT. Now, how do we prove this? Well, we know that S is an intersection of AF and BC. So we would know that the angle SAB is equal to the angle FAB is equal to the angle FAK, is equal to the angle KL, uh, FLK, and this is equal to 90 minus the angle ALM minus the angle KLJ, which is equal to 90 minus ALM is equal to how much? 
ALM is the same as CLM, which is equal to the angle BCA half minus the angle ABC half, which is equal to the angle ABC over 2. And now this right here implies what? Because SAB is ABC over 2. Similarly, angle TAC is equal to ACB over 2. And now we know that angle ATC is equal to the angle ACB minus the angle TAC. And this is equal to ACB over 2. And similarly, the angle ASB is equal to the angle ABC minus the angle SAB, which is equal to ABC over 2. And now these things imply that AC is equal to CT and that AB is equal to BS. And now finally, we prove that SM equals MT. And the way we do this is making, showing that SM is equal to SB plus BM is equal to by this thing, AB plus MBM is BK, which is equal to AK, which we know is equal to AL, which is equal to I AC plus CL, which is equal to AC is equal to CT, CT plus CM, which is equal to CM, not CM, ah, TM. And with that, we are done. And as always, thanks for problem solving.